Assalamu alaikum. In this video, the method to <coughs> draw this two dimensional exercise in crew parametric will be explained. <coughs> so, to create uh, this drawing, first of all, we must create three construction center line to define its location. So, one construction line for this vertical line and another construction center line for this vertical line and the third construction center line for this slanted line which is 60 degree along this vertical line. So let us first create a new sketch uh, for example, I have named it page 20 is Ructions. So, first construction line, draw it randomly and draw another construction center line at arbitrary location and after that create a horizontal construction line selected at random angle and after that specify uh, this angle is shown using weak dimension to be uh, 60 degree uh, 62 degree we can either simply change it by clicking on it uh like this or otherwise we can independently use the method to specify angle between two lines so suppose i will be clicking on this line and then we will press the control button from keyboard and clicking on this line and in the side menu this is the angular option is shown and here outer angle is shown no issue so if this angle is 60 that means this outer angle is uh, 300 so the angle 60 has been set out and after that uh, it is required that this the distance between this center and this center is 57 so as the construction center line are infinity lines so it is better to create two construction points one construction point at this location and other construction points at this location and now the distance between these two points must be specified so the distance to specify between two points the method is click on first point then control button from keyboard and then click on the other point and in the side menu this is vertical this is horizontal we will be using this which is the slanted distance between two points so it must be 57 so put type at 57 and zoom fit it and place move this 57 dimension at some proper location as shown in the diagram so in this way this 57 distance has been specified and after that we will creating this central uh, portion so we can create it in many ways so we can use a central line of 57 degree at this location and offset it in upwards and downwards and draw these two circles and the diameter for these two circles is 13 as this is the distance between these two lines which is 13 and which is the diameter for these semicircular portions so uh, i will be using the method uh, of drawing two circles at these uh, locations first of all we can create two circles of equal uh, radius and the radius uh, one circle is uh, uh, or we can uh, create 
suppose its radius is six point uh, five, or uh, if we specify its diameter, then its diameter must be thirteen. So thirteen radii. Two circles have been created. This thirteen is the distance between these two lines. So after that, we can use line tangent command and click on the boundary of these two circles. And here, like this. And after that, we can simply construction uh, delete segment or we can trim and very carefully these portions and it has been sh shown shaded that means this is extrudable and it is correctly drawn after that we will be creating this r19 circle which is concentric with this circle and this r26 circle which is concentric at this point so click on circle command and here at this location and another circle here at this location of random radius and now give it radius to be this radius is 19 and this radius is 26 so two circles this circle of radius 19 and this circle of radius 26 has been drawn after that we will be drawing this portion so this is a straight line portion which is tangent to this r19 circle this means the distance between this point and this line is 19 because it is tangent to this r19 circle so uh, the method to create this portion is create a line chain and place it randomly along this central construction center line and after that simply offset it is as this arrow is showing is shown in this direction but we are required to offset in the right direction so precede minus sign and 19 and here it has been offset here at the same time, we can simply delete this line, which, which is unrequired now. And after that, we will be creating this slanted line, which is parallel to the central construction center line of 60 degrees along the vertical. So this distance is 27 from this central line. So we can uh, randomly draw of some arbitrary length line suppose here uh, and we can offset it is in, in the down direction the arrow is in the same direction so put it 27 and here it has been drawn and after that we can delete the unnecessary or unrequired portions here and further if we want we can fill it this point because this radius r12 has been shown here so change this radius to be r12 so click at this radius and change it to be 12 so r12 radius has been set and in this way after that we will be creating this r81 circle which is internally tangent to so this circle r19 and this circle of r26 so we can create this circle of random dimensions here to surround these two circles and we can use one uh, tangent constraint between these two circles and one contained constant between this r26 circle and after that we can simply put the radius for this circle to be 81 
So in this way, dimension has been corrected out. And after that, we can create this unrequired portion of these circles and simply click and delete this portion. And furthermore, we can trim off these portions and click here and delete. And furthermore, here open ends are shown so we can zoom window this portion further zoom in this way and observe that this portion must also be deleted so click on here and now also delete this central line which is are required so in this way right right portion has been <clears throat> finished uh, furthermore we can uh, trim this portion as well and now this left portion we will be <clears throat> clicking we will be creating a line chain segment horizontally and we will be offsetting it 19 units downwards so create a central uh, horizontal line and then click on offset in down direction so put negative sign and r19 and this line has been and offset and delete this line and after that to create this 15 radius we will be creating a <coughs> line chain along this line which is perpendicular to this central construction center line and we will be offsetting this line in this direction 15 units so that that line crosses this 19 offset line at this point at this location so we will be offsetting this line in this orientation and after that we will be using three point arc one point uh, first point this and this uh, second point this and with third point will be any point so after that we will be satisfying its radius to be r15 so here we can create the a random line of any arbitrary angle and use perpendicular constant to make this single uh, line to be 90 degree and now we will be offsetting uh, this line uh, 15 units in this orientation. So in this way, after that, we will be zoom fitting this lower portion so that a better zoom is shown. Here in this way. And after that, we will be deleting the unrequired portions so at this point which portion can be trimmed off uh, this portion is trimmable this portion is also trimmable and this portion is also trimmable this portion is also trimmable this portion and this portion and this portion as well these have, have been trimmed and uh, we can also trim this portion as well and now we will be using three point arc this is the first point and uh, remember only use three point arc in this way and don't let uh, any constraint yes let it be tangent at this point no issue and now put its radius to be r15 so in this way r15 dimension has been created so once again 
شوالي simply delete this segment we are required again click on our command and click on this line segment and here at this point and now put it radius to be exactly 15 in this way is not changing If it is creating issue, then we can simply create a three point arc in this way. This must be R15. In this way, so as we can observe, the diagram has been completed and we can save it. Page 20 instructions in this way and click on new part page 20 instructions. Page Page 21 instruction, sorry. Page 21 instructions, suppose. And here click on front plane, sketch, and then sketch view, and go to import. And this is actually the name was page 21 instructions, actually. And mistakenly. Never forget to change the scaling factor to be 1. So it must be 1. So again put it in exactly in the center here. When both lines have been highlighted. Okay. And make it zoom fit. And in this way. Now click on extrude. And symmetrically. Extrude to be suppose five units is sufficient. So five unit extrude has been done. And look at at the uh, front. And in this way, this model has been created. Thank you all. Assalamualaikum.